Why did some of the animals that lived during the dinosaur era not become extinct? Hello and welcome all, hope you're all doing well. More than 65 million years ago, the Earth experienced a massive disaster. A large meteorite approached and collided with the Earth, resulting in the extinction of a large number of living creatures of all kinds. They can be large like the dinosaur and large reptiles, or small like birds, mammals and insects. Plants were also not spared. Nevertheless, despite all that happening, there are a large number of creatures that managed to survive and continue to live after the catastrophe that the dinosaurs could not avoid. And therefore, the question is raised here. How did these creatures survive? It is assumed that the meteorite affected the majority of living creatures on the Earth at the time. And if we proceed with the logic that the creatures who survived are the strong ones, we may see that the extinction of the dinosaurs is very strange, especially because they were the dominant and largest animals, while the rest of the other creatures were very weak and managed to survive with difficulty before even the meteorite hit. Hello, my name is Steve, and in this episode of Midnight Questions, we will answer the question, why did the animals that lived during the dinosaur era not become extinct? And before we begin, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button to receive all of our new videos. Let's go back 65 million years and let us imagine we are in Mexico now, the North American continent on the day the meteorite hit the planet. A few hours before it reached the Earth, plants were everywhere back then. The land was so peaceful and beautiful, but the plants' leaves were larger and their shapes were very different from the plants we know today. As for the animals, they were also different from the animals of today especially dinosaurs, and particularly carnivorous dinosaurs, posing the greatest threat to our presence in this location. While the rest of them were herbivores or small in size and posed no threat, Tyrannosaurus for example will be the first source of danger in our scenario, because it was the predator at the time and ruled the food chain. However, because it is just a few hours before the impact, the Tyrannosaurus would be unable to attack because we would all be in danger. The meteorite that collided with the Earth had a diameter of about 20 kilometers, and the sound of the collision was one of the most powerful sounds that the planet has ever heard. In any case, we will not survive the collision, but it is worth noting that the meteorite killed the majority of life on the Earth at the time. The impact of the meteorite on the Earth created a large crater in the ground, possibly the largest crater you'll ever see. This resulted in a massive amount of clouds, dust and ash spreading throughout the area, even blocking the sun. Not to mention the massive tsunami waves that caused all coasts and beaches to sink. Furthermore, the percentage of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere had become very dense, caused the planet's temperature to rise. Of course, the collision caused widespread fires and massive destruction on an unprecedented scale. Not to mention the soil that was affected by the materials and toxins left over by the disaster. And because the remnants of the collision took a long time to disappear, the living creatures on Earth were left with the option of adapting and trying to survive until life returned to normal. Some of them will become extinct because they were unable to adapt to such harsh conditions, but others will persevere until the end. Dinosaurs, unfortunately, were the first category because they were unable to adapt to the new conditions caused by the meteorite's collision with the Earth. It is worth noting, however, that dinosaurs were not the only creatures threatened with extinction. More than 60% of the species that existed at the time were unable to survive. Returning to our question about the reason behind the extinction of the dinosaurs despite their strength and might, while small animals such as birds, reptiles, mammals, etc. managed, the answer may be that the huge size will not help them survive a disaster like this, but rather it may be a negative feature that will help to raise the rates of doom and death more quickly. The conditions resulting from the collision will lead to few food sources, which means fewer chances of survival. Unlike smaller creatures that may be able to survive by relying on small amounts of food, Therefore, let us look at the animals that were alive at the time and managed to survive, and we will see their reasons behind their ability to survive despite the danger they experienced. Mammals were among the creatures that survived at the time, but their size was so much smaller than that of the dinosaurs, which helped them a lot to survive, especially since they only needed a small amount of food. Not to mention that many mammals at the time could live beneath the Earth's surface by digging burrows and crows. And with time going by, the mammals were able to survive, reproduce and thrive until the remnants of the great collision that defined the planet's history were extinguished. 
Anyway, apart from beings that could move, some beings could not move as they remained in place and had to adapt and survive as well. Here we are talking about plants that were among the victims of the meteorite impact as well. The planet lost a large proportion of green land at the time because of the absence of sunlight, which did not reach the earth due to the amounts of dust and ash that covered most of it for a long time. This in addition to the fact that the amounts of oxygen at the time were very low. All these factors make the survival of plants very difficult. The destruction of plants most affected the herbivores as well. But the bright side in all of this is that the seeds of many plants were located below that surface of the earth. And since rain and appropriate natural factors were not available, the seeds remained the same until conditions stabilized, rain fell, and life slowly returned to normal. Since we're talking about animals that survived the most devastating natural disasters in Earth history, we must mention the crocodile, which is considered the king of survivors and one of the strongest animals when it comes to survival. Of course, the crocodiles survived and thrived from the time of the dinosaurs to the present day. Crocodiles are one of the largest reptiles on the planet today, and many of their characteristics are self-evident. However, it is worth noting that they are dinosaur-like creatures in terms of shape and body. However, they managed to outlive the dinosaurs in terms of survival. One of the reasons for this is crocodiles' ability to survive for up to a year without food. Some studies even claim that there are crocodile species that can live longer than that. This is in addition to the breathing system, which allows the crocodile to breathe in environments with very low oxygen levels, allowing it to survive the conditions that resulted from the collision of the massive meteorite with the Earth. We can't discuss the creatures that coexisted with dinosaurs and survived the collision without mentioning turtles. It owns its home above its body, and it may be one of the most unusual creatures ever. And despite its slowness, lack of teeth, and lack of any means of defense other than its shell, it did, however, survive the disaster. Furthermore, all types of turtles survived. And it is a reminder, turtles saved 80% of their species over 200 years. One of these animals' most distinguishing characteristics is their ability to enter a long winter hibernation. Marine creatures were the least affected in the seas and oceans, especially since the collision occurred on land far from the sea. As a result, there are creatures in the seas that have lived for more than 500 years, such as some types of jellyfish. It is regarded as one of the creatures that have survived many of the world's natural disasters. Still, many marine creatures that survived were not jellyfish. Rather, many different types of fish, whales and sea creatures survived. Sharks are among them, with approximately 80% of their species surviving for millions of years. The reason for this is that the shark is one of the strongest marine creatures. In addition to its ability to eat a variety of marine animals that were not significantly harmed by the collision, as was the case with land animals. Anyway, the extinction of dinosaurs resulted in the general prosperity of mammals and the increase in their numbers. And of course, life flourished with time and life returned to normal, as has happened with several other huge natural catastrophes. And that's it guys, we have answered the question, why did the animals that lived during the dinosaur era not become extinct and if you have a question in the middle of the night that has caused you confusion please leave it in the comment section below so we can answer it because we make the most of our videos based on the questions you ask us in the comment sections